Okay, today's video we're talking about your domain name, your website, and your email address, and why that's important in regards to films. Here we go. Hi, this is Tom Malloy. I've raised north of $25 million for financing movies. I've produced at the time of this video 16 films. I've written 30 plus screenplays, options sold or made into movies, 25 of those screenplays, and I've starred in a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. Okay, today we're talking about your domain and your email address. Now, you think, what, what does this have to do with movies? Well, it has to do with networking. If you are giving a business card out and it says, my name is, you know, Tom Malloy at hotmail.com or at AOL or something like that. All right. Immediately I see that, e that card and I go, he's got the same name as me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I see that card and I say, uh, you know, this person doesn't have the next level going on. Like they have a Gmail address or they have a Yahoo address or something like that versus saying, info at tomaloy.com or me at tomaloy.com or tom at tomaloy.com, whatever that is. Now you, okay, I have my own uh, actual domain name, right? And so, or, you know, obviously people know my company Glasshouse Distribution or trickcandle.com, which is my production company. So you have email addresses based on those domains and that's big, right? Because then it says that you're a professional versus, you know, oh, yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm producing all these movies. You produce all these movies that you have a Hotmail or you have a, an AOL or a Gmail or something like that. Why don't you have this the movie production company, you know? It, it, that just seems to me to be intuitive. But it just gives you a, a better look as, a, a, you know, as far as you are concerned, looking a little bit more professional. So if you can't set this up, there's people that you can find that can do this for you on Fiverr.com. But the easiest way to do it is to go to GoDaddy.com and go there and register your domain and they're not that expensive. You know, you can get them for under $20 for one year. And so you register your name, see if it's available. If it's not, and your, your name is John Smith and it's a common name, you know, johnsmithfilms.com or whatever, johnsmithfilmmaker.com. And that's what you're gonna have to do to get that, that uh, domain for you or the name of your production company. John Smith makes, you know, uh, curtainsfilms.com, you know what I mean, or something like that. That's the name of, his production company. So you get curtainsfilms.com and now you have that domain and you can have a John at curtainsfilms.com or me at curtainsfilms.com, whatever you want to do. But now it actually looks like a real company. And again, you can go to Fiverr then and get a website created. A one page website is fantastic. Make it look professional. If you want to design your own website, but you have no skill at doing that, that's a mistake, right? Because it, it, again, that's judge, people judge a book by its cover. And this all boils down to that. When you have that business card handed to you and I look and I go, oh, an AOL address, immediately in my head, maybe subconsciously, I'm thinking, oh, this person's not on that next level. Then, or, you know, I go to their website and I look and the website is trash. Okay, this, they're definitely not on a professional level. They couldn't even afford somebody to do a website for them or put that stuff together, right? Again, the same goes for your business card. Business card should be something that's really cool looking, really good. Doesn't have to be this flashy, incredible thing that costs four dollars a card to make. You know, you can go one of the. I'll tell you that one of the places I love is moo.com, M-O-O.com. Go there, and you can get great business cards and uh, that that look professional. So you put that all on there. John Smith filmmaker, curtainfilms.com. Email address John at curtainsfilms.com, and it looks good and it presents you in the best light from the beginning. If you want more videos on filmmaking, check out the link below. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.